go. Cousin, what's up, what's popping? What's going on in the life of a Virgo between now and the 28th of February? <laughs> Cousin, are we working on our creative pursuits, our life purposes? Are you finding out that some of y'all is the medicine woman? <laughs> <laughs> hey, boo, hey, if this is your first time viewing my channel, look out, I'm Mocha. Also, if this is your first time viewing my channel, hey, I cuss, all right? So if cussing does not work for you, please feel free to find another beautiful reader on YouTube that can further assist you guys and resonate with you more without cussing, because me, <laughs> this girl's going to do that. To my new subscribers, welcome to the family, okay? You guys, we're a little dysfunctional. We might cry a little bit, you know, but we we, we don't fight and fuss. We leave that shit on other people's channel, okay? We do love, we enlighten, we grow, we evolve. Posy vibes only over here, okay? My lighting fucking sucks. Let's go ahead and get that shit sorted out right now. Sunshine is not all shiny today. It's a bit gloomy. And so I say, you know what? That's not going to stop me from bringing my cousins their messages. So I have to cut the little lamp on. I call it the little gel lamp. Look out. It, yeah, that is a jail lamp. I don't care what 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 my son got to say. It's a jail lamp, okay? I don't know where we even got it, but it made it here. So shout out to the jail lamp that's lighting up this place where you can see me just enough. What is going on? Return to family. Y'all know I'm going to talk shit. What's going on? Hey, boo. Hey. Some of y'all got new love. Some of y'all got new love. And some of y'all need to let go. Some of y'all need to let go. Some of y'all really be scared. Some of y'all really be scared. And some of y'all really let go. Hey, some of y'all really let go. Hey, some of y'all don't know how to be wrong. Some of y'all don't know how to be alone. Some of y'all, I'm going to help you out. Some of y'all, I'm going to help you out. What's going on, y'all? Y'all know I'm goofy. So all of my likes, share, subscribe, y'all. Thank you so very much. I really appreciate all of this love that y'all be putting up on the kid. I truly appreciate it, you guys. Um, Y'all, we have we are one big happy family, y'all. And we just been trucking through through this whole time, through all of the crazy shit Mocha been going through. Y'all have been loyalty, loyalty, loyalty to me, loyal to me. So thank you. Thank you, my Vortigos. Because I appreciate you, darling. Okay, so let's rock it. This will be for my Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, as well as the Cross Watchers for the sign of Virgo. You guys, this is not a personal. It's a general, all right? If you need a personal, that information can be found in the description, okay? Um, And you guys hit me up if you need that. Without further ado, this is my Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, as well as the Cross Watchers for Vertigo. Let's get it. So we're going to start with the intuitive messages first, okay? So intuitively, what I receive from my Virgos, you guys take what resonates, leave the rest, okay? Intuitively, I received great abundance, life lessons, independence, birth, financial pursuits, structure, catalyst, forgiveness, finalizing documents, new love. Y'all hold on, y'all. I don't know what the hell I y'all. Have y'all wrote something and didn't understand you ain't right? I was. Okay, ending life cycles, twin flame, okay? So I definitely see that my babies, you guys are going through some very transformative energy, but in the meanwhile, a spirit does want you to keep your eye on the prize and focus on your pursuits, focus on um, your dream, focus on your passions, don't go, don't die with the song still inside of you, babe, okay? So your Archangel, your Oracle message, Archangel Oracle message comes from Archangel Gabriel. You guys got creative writing, okay? Make time to write down your thoughts in a journal or pen. I'm saying or pen, an article or book, okay? So that kind of goes with your actual um, overall energy this month, okay, this half of the month, which was the Queen of Space. I definitely see you guys are... Um, you guys are feel, feeling, I feel such a sensual energy. I don't know why my Kundalini got to shoot up. I don't know if it's a Virgo feeling some type of way about the kid out here, but my Kundalini shut up and I'm just like, wait a minute. <laughs> Virgo, I like y'all or whatnot, but don't do that to me, okay? So I, <laughs> I will say, you guys could be in this very sensual energy during this time, all right? You guys are also really needing to protect your energy. Some of you guys are, um, someone is thinking about doing a natural birth. Thank you, Spirit. I'm rolling with it, guys. Hold on. I'm seeing someone um kind of going 
with thinking about the whole natural birth, I feel like you really need to check into more holistic measures as far as some type of pain medication because I feel like that's the dilemma. Either you're allergic or, or something to the sort. Um, I'm also seeing people um, afraid to travel or like leave. A, leave I'm, I'm hearing like leave, you're afraid to leave leave my life behind, leave my life behind. You're afraid to leave that in which you're familiar with to go to another place, but it's about your actual uh, ascension, baby. It's about you transforming into that medicine woman that spirit is calling you to be, whomever that's for, those two are tied to one another. Um, some of you guys are also um, having being forced out of uh, karmic relationships with um, fixed energy. I'm feeling this is more so for those of you dealing with Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, Leo. Some of you guys are having to end karmic cycles, life cycles, and you're going into this transformative energy, but you don't you don't really see the you don't really see the rainbow um at the end of that pot of gold. Okay. Show me a rainbow. The pot of gold at the end of that rainbow. All right. So Spirit, what messages do you have for my Virgo? For my Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, as well as cross watchers, for the sign of Virgo. All right, yeah. Endings, okay? So some of you guys could be actually experiencing endings. This could involve an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I feel that some, yeah, some of you guys are actually in a relationship, possibly due to some type of uh, financial endeavor or some type of opportunity that you that's going to require some sort, some form of travel. Or this could have to do with someone choosing uh, their security over. Um, over a relationship at this time, okay? I feel like, yeah, some of, some of you guys are having to choose um, over pretty much love over finances or uh, a relationship over your passions or it's like a sac self-sacrificial um, subject that I feel. This could have to do with work. This could have to do with the relationship, but I definitely feel some sort of movement and some form of indecisiveness, okay? I definitely feel that some of you guys are just really letting go. Some of y'all are letting go of the air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Some of you guys are really needing to make a decision. Am I going to let go the air sign or am I going to let go the fire sign, okay? And I feel like you could have assets or some type of tie to both. You could have children with one and possibly be in a relationship or some type of a starting of a relationship with another, you could also be dealing with someone who you work with, okay? But some of you guys are having to make the decision to cut someone off or there's an air sign. Um, you're dealing with a breakup with an air sign during this time, but I definitely see the energy of independence. And there's a fear of uh, cutting away from someone due to some type of financial tie. I do see, for those of you who are dealing with another earth sign, well, yeah, y'all, I see, yeah, yeah, ending cycles, ending karmic cycles, um, ending to life cycles, ending to a lesson that should have been gained during this time, a reason and a season for people to come in your life. Remember that, babies. But some of you guys are going into a new cycle of your life, which is going to require for you to be solo. And for some of you all, uh, especially if you've been connected to someone and you've only been used to being in relationships, you really don't know how. Uh, for some of you all, this could be the person who you're dealing with. They're actually releasing um, a karmic or they're ending a karmic cycle of their lives. Things are actually moving towards newness, towards some sort of a rebirth, okay? But first, has to, for, first there needs to be a balance, okay? Some of you all could also have to choose between two uh, earth signs, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, or possibly um, find the balance in your relationship, okay? For some of you all, I feel like there's an ultimatum that's been given that is kind of causing this causing this karmic cycle to end and it's kind of like choose this or so th some of y'all are choosing the or and choosing to move away move forward okay some of y'all could be dealing with an air sign gemini libra aquarius that is just juggling they, they really like cake what can i say you know but i feel like for some of you all it's moving away from someone and some of y'all this is happening very fast i feel like it's out of your control okay for some of you all um some of y'all are moving away from a job during this time, and I feel like as soon as you, or if you, or you're being let go, but as soon as you are, as soon as you leave that job, another one's gonna come right in. There's harmony happening, balance, security, stability, endings, okay, endings to heavy cycles. All right, I definitely feel like yeah, you're needing to make a decision. You could also be dealing with an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius that needs to make a decision. Okay, some of you guys are moving away. Okay, are moving towards. Um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, but this person's really needed, still needing to make a decision. There's still this indecisive energy around it, all right? This could even be your partner. But I definitely feel like some of you guys are choosing to move forward. 
Some of y'all are choosing to not choosing to make a decision by not making a decision. And what I what I come to tell you, baby, thank you, spirit, is that spirit says they're gonna make the decision for you because you have somewhere to be. And it definitely involves past life. It definitely involves life cycles. For some of you all, it's choosing between possibly a new love and the father or the, the, the father or the mother of your children. For some of you all, this could possibly be your lover who has to choose between yourself and the Aries, especially if you're dealing with another fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, okay? This could be this damn Aries that's needed to make a decision and make an offer, a solid one, okay? And I feel like for some of you all, you've been manifesting this. Some of y'all could also be dealing with an Aquarius person, and you could possibly have the security and, and the stability with this person, okay? And this could be someone who you have also some type of financial tie to. This could be um, some type of family dynamic, okay? Or you and this person could have a business together, but I definitely see some sort of movement forward, okay? Fearlessly. Movement forward fearlessly all right some of y'all could also be moving forward to actually pursue your dreams pursue um your purpose some of you all are artists some of you all are writers some of you all i'm hearing ebooks some of you guys could also be um actually making deals with closing deals with or finalizing deals with some type of publishing publishing company or publishing i'm hearing publishing some of you guys are definitely needing to jot down your dreams as well um for those of you who believe like mocha and hugging trees, okay, some of you guys are really needing to ground yourself this uh during the end of the, the ending of this month because I definitely feel like some of you guys who are not experiencing tower moments, you could possibly be getting ready to come up on the tower moment. This could have to do with your partner or yourself, okay? But there will be made, there will be a decision to be made, and I feel like someone is going to be moving forward, okay? And if we are renewing. Renewing a relationship, there's going to have to be a sacrifice of uh, behavior that's made. You know, people can't be out here acting in a relationship doing single shit, all right? For some of you all, <laughs> some of you all are moving away. I feel like this, this, is, this is the the dynamic that I was speaking about. There is um, a, a great practical connection that you have with someone where there's no issues when it comes to money. However, you're afraid that if you cut this person off that you won't be secure. Even though you're not uh, emotionally fulfilled, why is the wheel of fortune here, spirit? Yeah, some of you guys are ending a cycle with someone who offers you half-assness. Okay, period, period, point blank. Someone who just really can't quite get right. All right. Why is the Knight of Wands here with the Six of Swords? Why is the Knight of Wands here with the Six of Swords, Spirit? Why is the Knight of Wands here with the Six of Swords? Yep, Six of Swords. So you guys are moving away from people who just want to offer you half ass and say the, the flighty energy, the energy that comes in and out. Um, I feel like they're they're okay to have sexually, but as far as trying to build something with, you're moving away from them. If I can't build with you, I can't chill with you, period. All right, so why is the Star card here? Why is the Star card here? Why is the Star card here? Okay, victory. So for those of you who are um who are moving forward towards uh possibly a Capricorn towards Virgo or possibly an Aquarian person, okay, or this could also involve a fire sign, every single Sagittarius, I do see victorious moves forward after leaving someone, something out in the cold. Okay. Um for some of you all, you are going to be um renewing renewing love or starting over possibly with the water sign cancer pisces scorpio or accepting an offer from this person moving forward um victoriously moving forward um without that doubt without um that feeling of or living in that illusion of what could be with someone from your past you're just really releasing those those thoughts period you know a person shows you who the fuck they are you believe them some of you guys are um for those of you who've kind of been indecisive about starting some type of or making some type of business move financially having to do with an aries person spirit is saying it's safe get out your head go forward okay for some of you all um this could have to do with leaving a job, okay? You could also be a boss at a company and you want to um, start your own business, move towards some type of entrepreneurship. Spirit is saying, go ahead. Now is the time that um, that your actual guide, that the divine God, God got you. Go ahead. Don't worry about the all of the um, all of the in betweens and well, where am I going to get the money? You do the research. You do the planning. And when you make that move to jump off the cliff, let God show you who God is, okay? Why is um yeah, why is the eight of 
the Eight of Wands here with the Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, some of you guys are possibly moving away from trying to work on a relationship, possibly with the water sign, okay, a fire sign or an earth sign, um, possibly due to third party shit, or possibly moving away from um someone who you could have reconciled with, all right, who just is not giving you anything solid, all right? But I do see for some of you all, you're kind of going to sit in this place of, you know, indecisiveness, kind of beating yourself up, resisting to change about a new start. Something brand new that's for you. What I do notice here is that even when I laid the, laid the cards here, you guys have this Ace of Pentacles and this damn Ace of Wands. So I do I do know whatever it is that you're starting new that or that you're actually passionate about, that you actually give a damn about, that means something to you, whatever that thing is. Okay, you want to know what your life purpose is, what you're supposed to be doing, whatever it is that you do. Okay, that you love to do, that you really wish that you could really, really, really share with other people, but there is, there's this sense of hor horrifiedness or terrifiedness around it. That's what you're supposed to be doing. People are going to talk regardless. Let the let the damn chickens cluck, honey. We cannot hear them from the empress. Okay. So with that said, fear not. There's nothing to fear but fear itself. There are positive moves forward. Just make those shifts to move forward, okay? And choose you at the end of the day. Choose what? Choose your own fulfillment, all right? So that's what I have for you all between now and the 28th of February. I love you all. If you need that personal, hit me up. Many blessings, much love. Namaste, babies. Bye, y'all.